Yes, it's me, Mark. It's Vendor here again today. But listen, I see that reports coming out of Trinidad and Tobago following the post cabinet briefing said that the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago was coming to Barbados this weekend, just ended here for a little vacation. Well, I think we should welcome the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago because let me tell you the stress of being Prime Minister of a country, not just one, but two islands, Trinidad and Tobago. And we know that you get a little pressure from the people down in Tobago, not only with the fishing thing, but somebody down there telling to mind the damn business. Imagine that. Huh? Another leader telling the maximum leader, mind your damn business. So, you know, it's a lot of pressure when you think about it, being Prime Minister of a country, especially these days. So the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago is coming on a little vacation. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with developments over the last few days because he would have had to plan this vacation well in advance. But you see me, market vendor, I feel BTMI should seek permission from the Prime Minister to quote him and use it in one of their ads. I don't know if he would agree to that or if they would want to take it on. But when you think about it, the statement that he made that Barbados got some of the best golf courses in the world coming from a Prime Minister, oh, lost. I feel that is a lovely endorsement. Hmm? And I hope that it will help the, help the Trimbegonians to bump up the numbers that we know already are low for the summer season. I hope Caribbean Airlines going to bump up the flights too as well, but don't bump up the prices of the tickets though. So that the Trinis can come to Barbados in the summertime because then they sort of really support me tourism when summertime come. And when you talk about the golf courses, look at it now. We got the Barbados golf course up there, so it durates a top class golf course with nice, wa nice water features and so on, eh? and beautiful views across the south coast. Then you got Royal Westmoreland. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful estate that is. And being taught get about Sandy Lane, cause you remember, Tiger Woods chose the Sandy Lane golf course to get married. <laughs> it didn't help you at the end of the day, but anyhow, yeah, yeah. And then you got the Green Monkey. And then you got the old Sandy Lane golf course too as well. Three golf courses owned by Sandy Lane. And then you come on up to Apes Hill with Mr. Chat Randy building something out of this world. I went up there and I see it for myself. It is really beyond anybody's imagination. Huh? It real, real sweet. That is Barbados for you. So when the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago choose Barbados to come and have a holiday, in spite of all the problems that he may be facing at home, you know that that is a big endorsement. I can just beg you while you're here, Skipper. Make sure you eat little flying fish. Then you see here how Bajans has really prepared our flying fish. Huh? So that when you go back home, you can deal with the pressure that might come from them fellas down there. So that want to, quote unquote, stop the Bajans from overfishing, whatever that is supposed to mean. I'm only a market vendor, but Prime Minister, I hope that you get the rest and the relaxation that you need while you're here in Barbados. I know you got friends about here. Some of them is my neighbors too as well. <laughs> I'm only a market vendor. Enjoy, Barbados. I hope you have a good few rounds of golf and that you come back to Trinidad and Tobago refreshed and ready to face the new ball market golfer now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day, you hear? <laughs>